Plastics like these are found throughout our watershed, and they are accumulating very rapidly. Globally, we produce 297 million tons of plastic each year. This includes 35 million plastic bottles and 500 billion plastic bags that are all infiltrating our natural environments. According to research, each person produces 185 pounds of plastic per year, and only 10% of that will ever reach a recycling bin. Sadly, economists are predicting a double in plastic production by 2025, and with the breakdown period of one plastic bottle being 450 years, we have to find a solution to this plastic problem. The increase in plastic production leads to the accumulation of microplastics. Microplastics are small shards of plastic that are not visible to the human eye. However, they can be found everywhere. In our rivers and streams, in our clothes through washing them, and in everyday plastics. But how does the increase in plastics affect wildlife? A primary example of this is biomagnification of harsh chemicals that are linked to developmental delays and hormonal disruption. Biomagnification occurs when chemicals accumulate through species, starting with a low concentration in invertebrates, a higher concentration in their direct predator, the fish, and finally the highest concentration in the top predator, the eagle, which can lead to detrimental effects on the whole ecosystem. Plastic is also a major physical threat to wildlife. They can become entangled or suffocate in the presence of plastics. Microplastics have been recently found throughout circulatory systems of various wildlife, meaning that the digestive tracts of some species can actually absorb microplastic beads and spread them throughout their bodies. This has led to feeding, gastrointestinal, and pancreatic issues for many organisms, and research is still scratching the surface of potential harmful effects. With microplastics infiltrating many aquatic species, it makes us wonder how much plastic is in our seafood. A study in 2015 found that over half the seafood bought at fish markets contained microplastics. Researchers are unsure of the effect on humans, but one thing is for sure, the plastic we improperly dispose of can most certainly turn up in our food. The Petakodiak Watershed Alliance is tackling this plastics problem by doing several cleanups in the Greater Moncton area and taking a first time look at microplastics in our watershed. But what can you do to help solve this plastic problem? You can use reusable bags, choose products with less packaging, decrease your net waste from your household, Volunteer at a cleanup and check your labels. Clothing that's plastic leads to microplastics, and as we know, that's a bad thing.